Welcome to LA Comic Con. Oh my goodness, the crowd level here today is so different than what we experienced yesterday. Whoo, it's gonna be happening. Oh, I found it. Look at the Ghostbusters. They're so cool. Chilling. So we got through the quick check-in. Man, everybody is so nice here. We've been having very good experiences with that. Gotta go to the elevator just because we have a stroller with us. Here we go, guys. Day number two here, LA Comic Con. It's gonna be so exciting. Lots of stars and panels for today's event. Here we are. Look at the crowd levels waiting to come in. Everybody's getting excited here. Pumping them up, getting ready for what they have in store straight through these doors here. Hall H, guys. Let's go and check it out. See what we can get in here. Check this out. Grogu, Baby Yoda, right ahead from the Mandalorian. If you guys notice, look at the flock coming through here. These are, the doors have opened and the floods have begun. Martinez from WandaVision here. She met Wonder Woman. Yeah, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> right, yeah. She's oh look, she's so shy. I never seen any I know, shy. DC versus Marvel today. Right? DC versus Marvel. So there is such a thing. You just yeah, created some rivalry. Giving some love here, guys. She signed your card. That is so cool. She was so nice, huh? Yeah. I like yeah? How do you like the Comic-Con so far? Good. Good? All right. All right, guys. To all of my Jurassic Park fan base, here is the booth for you guys. Jurassic Park Collection, DinoArtPrints.com. Check it out, everybody. All of the beautiful merchandise. They have shirts. They have toys. They have Funko Pops. They have prints, of course. All of the collectibles. Whoa. Dinosaur concept art prints from 1994. Beautiful. Figurines, everybody. Look at all of these action figurines here. Some Legos on this side as well. Jonathan Perkins booth here. Down on aisle just before 500, looks like. Pretty cool stuff, guys. Look at all these collectibles. A little more of their selection here, guys, of toys. Do you guys remember these micro cars like this when you were young? They have the Back to the Future Nano Hollywood rides here. I think, I think I'm gonna pick this up, actually. All right, guys, so here we are, 3D HQ booth here. What caught my attention here is one of these large banners up here. We 3D print you. I don't know much about this, but I do have someone that will be able to give us some information. Okay. Here we are. What we do, we put you in a booth, we take 200 photos, all in half a second, all in 360 degrees. Then we'll go ahead and process that into a 3D photo. You'll get an avatar, you can play around with the avatar, you can download it in our app. You can do augmented reality. You can place yourself anywhere you like. Okay. And then if you like that, you fall in love with it, we can also go ahead and do a 3D figurine. That's our main business. A fig print figurines. Whoa, so you can do a 3D printed figurine of yourself. Of the future, this is it. Wow. And we're doing it all complimentary at the show, just for the Comic-Con LA. We also did it in Comic-Con San Diego, and it's been really fun, nice. Is there, uh, can we also follow you online or do you yeah, have social you media? Go ahead, and go ahead to 3D headquarters or 3D HQ. All right. You can, you can find us online. We have all the info. We also have a QR right here on the back of the card and you can get all the info. You can get our locations Perfect. and pricing and all the other information. You can also download the app right here from the QR for the Android or for the iPhone. Okay, perfect. All right, guys, so I opted to do a quick scan here. I'm gonna go into the booth. I'm gonna take you with me. We were given permission to film. 
So right, here we go on our way. QR code here for the app. Oh, QR code here for the app, guys. Let's go do it. Here comes the lights. And then when your eyes adjust and you're ready, you just let me know. Okay, ready. All right, here we go. We'll start that countdown in five, four, three, two, one, and you're done. All right. That's it. I was quick, guys. So I just got scanned. I'm gonna have my own very own, very own avatar to share with you guys. I'll share it the best possible way I can. I know they have an app that they developed. The avatar will be on that app for use, just like a Pokemon Go and that sort of stuff. Let's do it. Let's go see what we get, guys. familiar with Voodoo Ranger check out this mascot they have here Ooh, he is ready to party the Voodoo Ranger IPA they have food trucks here guys Not all right just. guys even Jason is in the spirit this year uh oh but look at this candy cane something went wrong this is not your traditional Christmas I don't think oh So Infinity 3D Collectibles, follow them on Instagram, Facebook. They have some really cool items. We were just discussing probably one of the best buys here is the briefcase for $150. You get everything that's listed or that's shown here, guys. I'm a little bit more. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Gotta watch out. They are visiting because they want something 3D printed also. They're visiting the Infinity 3D Collectibles booth here. Okay guys, as we're walking through, we saw this Punch It graphics. Something completely different than what we normally see. On wood plank work art. Some of this beautiful, beautiful work. Check this out. 150, some more 75 bucks, but look at what you get. One of a kind artwork. Hang this on the wall, and I guarantee you no one else has these. Just beautiful. Once again, it's Punch It, Punch it Graphics. Another wonderful booth, guys. Gears and Roebuck here. Rusty Junk Emporium. But it looks like they have a lot of steam punk inspired items here. Really cool mask. Everything is recycled. These are all old toy, old mask, broken jewelry. Anything I can find, I give it a new life with paint, um, blue, you name it. My weird sense of humor. Yeah, so <laughs> so this is um, wearable items? Is it decor? Yes. Or would you categorize Everything, it? Everything, yeah. It's both, okay. Yeah. Because I have things like this for like a man cave. Uh -huh, yeah, definitely. And this could be worn or put up on a wall. Ooh, that is cool. So it's, you know, it's whatever you want it to be. Very, very neat. I always say that I've made something for you, and I haven't met you yet, but I've made something, something for you. Something for someone, yeah, definitely. Alright guys, my gem that I found here, the Darth Vader rustic appearance here. It is wearable, so I am going to rock it here at Comic Con LA. Why not? Let's get in the spirit. A little bit of Darth Vader, Star Wars, Dark Side, rustic dark side guys here we go all right guys so my first purchase of comic-con 2021 is this vader repurposed mask with a little bit of patina on it we got this wonderful booth i mentioned it just a moment ago please follow them support them i'm going to drop the description on their booth in my description below you can follow them online they do custom makes they do private stuff and of course they have stuff that's already made here we go, guys.
back. <laughs> okay, check this out, guys. Look, we got pictures going on here. We have Donald in the party. Everybody, this is one for you, Eddie, right here. Proton, Proton pack here, Docs, Pro Shop, Eddie found his way, he's got a new fan, Docs Prop Shop, win me on the weekend here. He's killing, gotta break it out. <laughs> yeah, check this out, we have Back to the Future Proton pack. Make sure you guys follow Docs Pro Shop, guys. Talk to me, Goose. I just have the mic. Oh, you just have the microphone. 
You've got the conch. So, what's your question? What's your favorite movie? Fantastic, thank you for asking. I know you didn't want to. Um, what, what is my favorite movie? I don't know. No, I mean, it's good, trust me. It's great, who are we kidding? By the way, are you guys excited for the second Shazam? I think it's gonna be even better than the first one. I really like the first one, so hopefully you guys like it as much as we enjoyed making it. Uh, favorite movie, I don't know. If I had to choose based on like how many times I've watched it over and over again, I think it's Groundhog Day. Any other Groundhog Day fans here? I don't know. I can watch Groundhog Day like I was stuck in a Groundhog Day. It's just so good. It's endlessly quotable. Forrest Gump, that's another one. Really like Forrest Gump. Yeah! Man, I cried my damn eyes out watching that movie. I was 13, I couldn't stop crying. I was like crying all the way through the end of the movie. People were looking back at me and my family in the theater like, are they beating this child? Like, I was crying so much, because I wanted him to be real. I loved him so much. He was like, I don't know, I, I don't know if you guys remember this, but he's like, he was, he loved everybody. And he, he made fun of him endlessly. I mean, some of us, know, know, you, you know what it's like. Everybody bullied in school? Anybody bullied in school? Oh, damn it. That guy was bullied endlessly, and he still loved everybody. And I just wanted a person like that to be real. I don't know, I just loved it so much. Oh, I see some great Shazam cosplay. Who's all, who's all dressed up like Shazam right now? Okay, well, you're Black Adam, you don't count. I'm sorry, sorry. Oh, shots fired! Does anybody have a question? Where's the rock? Do we, oh, oh, yes! Oh, oh, no, are you Black Adam or are you Pedro? Pedro. Oh, pa never mind, never mind, I take it back. Shots taken back. Yeah, so, in your own words, why is Pedro the best character? <laughs> uh, Pedro is the best character because he is the foster brother of Billy Batson. That's why. <laughs> who happens to be me. But Pedro's great. And DJ Catrona, who plays Pedro, is awesome. He's, I mean, by the way, the whole Shazam, like, I can't even tell you how blessed we are. Yeah, there's a little Shazam right there. What's up, bro? It's honestly one of the coolest things ever that I, that kids dress up like me for Halloween. I think that's probably one of the coolest things. That and that I have action figures. I mean, come on. It's so stupid. Anybody else have a question back there? <laughs> Super Freddy? Yes, go ahead. Uh, why is Freddy the best character? Why is Freddy the best character? Well, because he is the foster brother to Pedro, who is the foster brother to Billy, who is me. <laughs> Do we have another mic over on this side? Oh, sorry, I'm gonna bounce over here real quick. And go! Hey, so I met you at the red carpet premiere for the first Shazam. Fantastic. Cool. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I was. Shutting down Hollywood Boulevard? Oh, yeah. That Come was on. Time. Circus time. Baller baby. Status. That was excellent. Uh, so my question is, uh, you got any new favorite powers you might exhibit in the second one? That you <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Let's get into it. So anyway. All right. Uh, so I really can't talk about that. I, really, I, I appreciate you trying, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. What was the most challenging part about playing Billy Batson and dealing with the family? The, the most difficult part? was that my suit doesn't really let me go poop. And that's just the honest to God truth, guys. I, you know, I had a little cod piece that like you can unzip and like a flappy deal and you can go, you know, go number one. But there's no butt flap. It's not like that old school like pajama thing with the, you can't, there's none of that. So you just gotta strip down and be naked again and then Drop your deuce and then go, go like that. Drop your deuce. And that's inconvenient. You know, sometimes when a poop comes on, that's a real, that's fast. <laughs> In danger, <laughs> danger, Will Robinson. Thank you for your question, that's a great question. Uh, yes, over there. Hey, uh, sorry, I don't have a question about Shazam. Or, that's fine, you don't have that. You can ask whatever the hell you want. Okay. <laughs> um, but, uh, I know that you uh, you really uh, you really like Disneyland and you grew up. Love Disneyland. Any any Disney nerds out there? <laughs> Actually, I love doing this. Show of hands. Show of hands. Who's a Chuck fan? Who here is a Chuck fan? <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Who here is a Shazam fan? <laughs> Dad, who here is a Tangled fan? <laughs> I knew you guys win like every time. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I guess All you guys right. like me in animated form more than real life. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> uh, no, I just wanted to ask, what's, what's the most, like, obscure or, like, your favorite fact about, like, Disneyland or, like, the Disney parts that you've learned, like, growing up? Like, everything. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have, have Disney+, Plus, but there's this, um, uh, imagine a 
Imagineering docu-series on that that like I so nerd out about that stuff. I love it so much. And then there's another one called Behind the Ride, and they go behind like the making of it. Yeah, right, right, right. Clap it. You're like, I worked on that. Uh, but like all that stuff, like all the little nooks and crannies and things. I will tell you. I, I so somebody pointed out to me once, and this is a, take this with you, use it as you want to. But if you go to like the main, like you go up Main Street and you go to like the main circular square there, where there's a bronze statue of. Walt and Mickey standing next to each other. If you go walk around, you, have, you kind of have to hug the fence right at the corner of the Adventureland opening, like you know, in, from the circle. And if you look, you get this image of what's called Happy Walt, because you see Walt standing there, and you see Mickey's nose. It's worth looking at. I'm just telling you. You don't have to tell your kids what you're telling. They don't need to know. But it's funny. So that's one of my favorite Easter eggs at Disneyland. Thank you. I was just wondering, how much did you like voy voicing um, Flynn Rider? Because that was one thing was my favorite like Disney movie. Well, duh, yeah, it's the best. <laughs> and so, you know, and it's, so I just want to let you know, also when I first saw it, yeah. all I remember because I fell asleep during it. You fell asleep the first time you saw it? Why? Was it was it the dulcet tones no, of my voice I just holding years, you to sleep? I was five years old. You were five years old when it came out. Okay, well, that time. That time. And I saw it that night, but I just went, uh, I fell asleep doing the prologue, and all I can remember is you just saying, here is the story of how I died. Yeah. Know, it's a happy story. That was the beginning of the movie. You fell asleep at the beginning of the movie. That's impressive. I was five. All right, well, listen, how was it playing Flynn? I mean, I don't really know. I know there's a lot of kids present. It was fucking awesome. It was so great. Such, I grew up in Ventura, California. I've been to Disneyland so many times. I love Disneyland better than Disney World. Anyway, um, Disney World, so let's not have a fight. Anyway, the point is, but the point is, I dreamed. I watched everything Disney under the sun. I have two sisters. I could tell you every word of every song in Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. And then we got Aladdin, and those guys finally got a prince. You know what I mean? Robin Williams was probably the greatest voiceover job that's ever been done. Like, rest in peace, Robin Williams. So, I was geeking the hell out that I got to be an actor. I dreamt of it. I, dreamt, I mean, I'm not kidding. As a kid, I was like, I want to be in a Disney musical. I want to, you know, sing in a Disney musical, and I got to do that. So, that's like, you know, dream stuff. So, thank you for that question. I appreciate that. Yeah. Chuck, though, like, well, the truth is, I wasn't even really acting in Chuck. Like, that was just me, legitimately. <laughs> Like me and Josh Gomez, we would bring our Xboxes to work and we would play Gears of War because that's how you do, you know? So all of them, I loved all of them. Great question, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Oh, hold on, oh, one more, I'm gonna go over here and then over there and then I'm gonna come right back here. But I gotta do this guy with the red shirt, right? You're gonna be next, I think. So who's got a question over there? Thank you. Uh, speaking of musical, I really love your song with Catherine McPhee, Terrified. Thank you. When is your next Woo! single album coming out? I, as soon as Dua Lipa calls me and we can go. I don't know. I would love to record music. I don't know. I'm just doing a lot of other things, like right here. I, how can I possibly record music if I'm here in LA with you guys, right? <laughs> I'm busy. But eventually, I'd like to. Yeah. Is, do you think when Sarah Walker at the end, she forgot? You think Did that, 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 that. <laughs> Spoiler alert, and go. But do you and think go. that she eventually, her and Chuck, found their way back? Of course. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Is there going to be a movie? I, Listen, I'm trying to make a Chuck movie happen. I've been trying to make a Chuck movie happen since we're Listen, listen, listen. For all you Chuck fans, if you haven't seen the show, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of feel good. It really does feel good. The ending, a little polarizing. But here's the thing. I'm going to try to make a Chuck movie, or more, if we can, you know, be successful now. But I want to answer that question once and for all, because I know that a lot of Chuck fans, who spent all five years with us, and watching Chuck and Sarah fall in love, and all the ups and downs and all that, for that to be the end, and kind of on this, like, whoa! Like this cliffhanger? That's tough. But the show, I mean, it was it felt good. It, it was supposed to make you feel good. So I think the only conclusion we can make is that yes, she remembered, and yes, they made their way back. Because if that's not the case, then I'll burn it all down. <laughs> I'll burn it all down. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Day two here, Comic Con LA. I hope you guys had a good time walking you through, looking at the vendors, looking at all the cosplay, some of the stage artists, a little bit of that. 
the movie cars, the sets, everything that's involved in Comic-Con this year. So amazing, we had so much fun. Day three coming tomorrow, guys. If you guys like this video, give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, better yet, hit that notification bell on your way out. We'll see you on the next one.